Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade. Coming to you with another Who Would Win book. This is Rattlesnake versus Secretary Bird. This is the second time this book is on the channel. The first time I did not tell you who's gonna win. After hearing your feedback, I am going to show you every single page right now and I'm gonna let you know who would win the rattlesnake versus the secretary bird. Again, you will find out who wins and we will actually read those last couple pages. I do not read the whole book to you. The idea here is you can decide if you like this book, if it's a good fit for your reading level, and then you can go buy this book. Best places to buy them in the description below. I will put a link to Amazon. Also, these are sold by Scholastic. I think that's probably the least expensive way to purchase them. So talk to your teachers. All right. If you know my channel, all my books are leveled. This is a level Q. Level Q on the GRL, the guided reading level, puts this book at a third grade level. So while I teach second grade, this is only for those really strong readers. Let's get right to it. Rattlesnake versus Secretary Bird. So if you're familiar with these books, they're gonna start off giving you some background, some feedback on these two creatures or animals. Talks about birds of prey and other birds. Ooh, look at that. There's some of my students building evidence, putting a sticky note in there. Wow, so cool. I'll take that out just for this book, but I am really proud of whichever student did that. Yay, building their evidence. Meet the rattlesnake. Gives you all kinds of interesting facts and ooh, danger, talking about venom. Meet the secretary bird. A lot of kids in my classroom said, you know what, how could a rattlesnake lose to a bird? I don't know, we'll have to see what happens here. I'm giving you more and more information here. Talking about length, you can see right there that the rattlesnake, the western diamondback rattlesnake can get how tall? Or how long? Seven feet, wow. All kinds of more interesting facts about how long they are, about how much they weigh. And now talking about these birds. Wow, so some of these birds, the secretary bird is no little bird. It can be as tall as four feet. Holy mackinole. All right, so now you're building up that evidence going, all right, this is not like some little bird. This, this is a big, fierce bird. Talking about how snakes are reptiles, and our secretary bird is, well, it's kind of a bird. Talking about some different facts. Rattlesnake skeleton, that is very cool. And the secretary bird skeleton, very cool. Where you can find these guys, here's where you can find that rattlesnake. And over here in Africa is where you're gonna find that secretary bird. What's special about these guys? What kinds of things they eat? Ooh, this is cool. How many years they can live? Looks like 20 years for that rattlesnake and looks like about 14 and a half for that secretary bird. Pretty long lives. Some fun facts about those different, different ways that the names of these creatures are used. There's the Diamondbacks, the baseball team. Talking about their speed, there's a rattlesnake coming in at three miles an hour. How they hide. Talking about the secretary bird, how fast it is, 20 miles an hour. Hmm, so where the snake sleeps down below, the bird, secretary bird kinda is up high when it is resting. Weapons, ah, there you go, there's that rattlesnake. There's that venom coming off of those fangs. And there's our secretary bird. The secretary bird has four great weapons. It can fly, run fast, 
has a sharp beak and deadly claws. Ah. After some of my students read this page and built this evidence, they changed their mind on if this would be an easy win for the rattlesnake. All right, friends, we're getting towards the end. I will read these final pages to you, so enjoy. The secretary bird is in the acai tree, ready to hunt. It's on the lookout. In the wild, it is it is eat or be eaten. The secretary bird looks down on the ground for food. The rattlesnake is safe and sound in its den. It's getting hungry. It decides to take a peek outside. The rattlesnake sticks its head out of the hole. It's looking for a tasty mouse or a delicious rat to eat. The secretary bird sees the snake, swoops down, and uses its feet to stomp the rattlesnake's head. Ouch, that hurt. The snake wiggles back into its den. Now the secretary bird is on the ground. It can fly, but it can also run fast. It looks around. Where did the snake go? The snake decides to fake out the bird and use its secret second escape tunnel. The bird hears it. As the rattlesnake moves to the den, the secretary bird uses its foot to stomp on the snake again. The snake moves into a defensive position to bite the bird. The secretary bird's body is too tall for the snake to reach. The snake tries to sink its fangs into the bird's ankle, but there isn't enough there to bite. The bird dances away. The snake tries to bite again. Yikes, poison. The bird has to be careful. The bird kicks the snake. Whap! Then the bird stomps on the snake with its razor sharp claws. Whap! The bird kicks the snake again. The snake goes flying in the air. What do you think? Who's gonna win? The snake lands on the ground. It decides to skip dinner and escape to the den. As the snake moves back and forth across the ground, the secretary bird keeps on kicking it. Whap, whap, whap. In between kicks, the secretary bird pecks the snake in the head. Bop, the rattlesnake is wounded. The bird gives it another kick. Whap. The secretary bird eats the rattlesnake. The fight is over. What must it be like to eat a wounded, venomous snake? Yuck. Wow, look at that picture right there. I think that says it all. So who's our winner? The secretary bird. Wow, that was a really good one. A lot of my students struggled on that one, including myself, by the way. So if you have heard this before, my advice is tape these two pages together. Build your evidence. Sticky notes, as you can see one of my students did, is a great way to build your evidence. You can also use this checklist right here and kind of decide who has the advantage in these different areas. Who has the size advantage? Who has the venom advantage? Claws, legs, flight. Very, very cool. Hey, I hope you like this book. Listen, I own just about every single one of these, and you can find almost all of them on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe. And by the way, any books you don't see there yet, I am purchasing every single one of these, so you will either find them now or they will soon be there. Go check out the page though. Right now there's about 15, 16 of these books. Enjoy.